the, the politics of the 60s uh, up until uh, the uh, mid-60s mid were all bottled up, it seemed, and that's the way uh, you, you got your release was to actually go to your horn and scream. Uh, and uh, that's what you heard with most everybody that I was around, including people playing like uh, Gato Beberi from, from uh, Buenos Aires. He'd tell me stories about political prisoners and I didn't get it, you know. I said, they take us to the stadium and then you never see uh, my friend, I never see him again. And it's, they well, come up to Harlem with me, man, and, and play and maybe you can tell your story. And, uh, so there was not only the Americans, it was a lot of the uh, musicians that were coming and getting political from the poets, uh, from their own experience in their own country. Uh, and it, it got to the point where you would say, well, are you ever going back there? And no, no, I'm not going back. I'm gonna check how it is. And so it was the beginning of me being aware of the fact that, hey, you know, some people can't, some artists and musicians just can't go back. Um, and the, the poetry was strong. Amiri Baraka was strong. Uh, and the poets from, from Philadelphia were, were as strong. So you always felt like you were part of something that you thought you couldn't change, but you were going to try anyway. 